Garrett. Look at that S3. Look at that beautiful piece of metal. So Project M3 has become quite the Lowe's trip. Got uh, some new flooring in here um, and it is fitting it very well through the little ski rack since we have the cold weather package. So it's pretty good. I got some trim here. I gotta go elsewhere, but yeah, work pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so if you see here in this little lip, unfortunately this piece like split and broke away from the bumper. We had a slight hairline crack right there. So what I went and did was scuff the backside and the outside of 80 grit, place the uh, piece where it needs to be where the crack is not seen anymore. It's just really back together. Taped it with some um, 3M duct tape and then I put this adhesive on here. I'm gonna let it sit and then we'll come and start working the outside and then reinforce this with another material later on. If you look here, you can see where the crack was. I just went ahead and filled this up from the back side like I said squeeze it together and now the crack's not really there we can go ahead and put some light putty or some fiberglass wherever my body wants to do on the outside and go ahead and finish this up and then we'll be ready okay so we got James over here doing the body work getting this done for me he's got um, some bottom to put down there was some scratches and stuff on the bottom where like a guy ran up on a curb or something so he's going ahead and knocking that out he stripped the whole thing as the clear was coming off so I'm gonna kind of show you what it looks like and then we'll get the thing primed put on the car mount it up and then we'll go ahead and get it ready for paint so you see the whole bumper is stripped. We got some uh, Bondo and putty in some places here where there's a bunch of scratches just from like running up on curbs or uh, parking spot stops and stuff like that. But for the most part, the whole thing is stripped. It's ready to go. He'll be priming it here in a little bit and it's a little bit of the process. If you look right here, you're going to see this little dip down. It's like the clear was peeled off. Maybe like a bird dropping gun on the car. I'm not sure. Same thing right here. This one's a little worse. The clear was coming off a lot. So that's why we're scuffing the whole truck now to go ahead and get it down really nicely. We can put a nice coat of primer on it and go from there. It's cut down all the way as far as we're going to go. Now we're ready to prime it. We had a little spot here too. Went ahead with this uh, Cubertron uh, 3M stuff, the new stuff they just came out with. It's pretty good paper so far. Uh, not too bad, I kind of like it. It definitely doesn't get clogged up as much as the old one or anything. So good stuff, I'd recommend this a lot. And our hood is here, folks, in the big truck. All right guys, next step, we are completely sanded. I didn't really film any of the sanding process because it's just kind of repetitive and it's the same crap over and over again. But sanding is completely done minus the hood. I uh, still haven't completely decided yet the route I'm going with the hood. So that's not sanded, but everything else is. We're gonna go ahead and do this a full decon. I just went ahead and rinsed the whole thing and got all the contaminants out from under the wheel wells and stuff. We're gonna use some Obsessed Garage decon soap and go ahead and decon this thing. We're gonna take a brush, kind of go around the windows, all the trim pieces, try to get all the dirt from out from under there so it won't come out in our paint. Wash it really well, let it dry overnight, and hopefully we're shooting to paint this thing tomorrow. I don't know. We're going to see, guys. We're going to see. Really excited. It's really coming together. Um, there's a few spots that uh, I had to go over like multiple times, but I finally got them right. I think everything should be 110%. I'll see what it looks like in the morning after it's clean and dry. All right. What's up, guys? I don't know how well you can hear me. I'm sorry. This has kind of been like, I've just been taking my time with this car, going through the journey, and really enjoying this whole process. It's kind of how I did my first time through. I just took my time with it. It turned out super good, super uh, nice and clean, and it was just a really good job. So I kind of want to take my time with this while I haven't rushed it and just uh, make sure it's right. It's a dream car of mine. This car I want to really look good. I plan on keeping it for a long time. So doing all the right things, taking all the right precautions and steps, and just make sure this thing's going to be 110% solid. But with that being said, what we have is the whole car cleaned. We have booth cleaned and coated and all that uh, 3M booth coating stuff. Recommended by Kyle. Appreciate it, Kyle. Uh, so we got all that done, we are tacked, we are ready to go, we're about to cut the fan on. After we cut the fan on, then we're going to put some sealer down, cover the whole car in a nice like dark gray sealer. It may be a little too dark, but I think it'll be perfectly fine. It's about the shade of the carbon right now, uh, maybe a little lighter than that. 
got a little bit of blue in it. Kind of almost a shade in a sense. So we'll see. It should be fine. Uh, it's about equivalent to that factory BMW sealer. So that will be good. But um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and seal the whole car. We'll let that sit. While that sits, I might go eat something or something like that. It's about uh, 8 o'clock right now, 7.30 or something. Uh, so I'm getting an earlier start than I normally do, earlier start. That's cool. But yeah, let that just sit properly, and then we'll go and start putting our base down. Then we'll clear it. I'm probably just going to time-lapse this whole deal. Maybe do a little bit of scenes here and there. My phone's dead, of course. You know, guys are on the charger right now on the stand. But it'd be cool to just show my whole self and talk to you guys about this real quick. And super excited. So yeah, let's go and get this freaking car painted. I'm super excited. We have a car show this weekend we want to go to. Um, and just kind of get ready to start driving the car. In the morning, I'll paint my trim, and then that would be it. Uh, Shadow black trim, I'll paint it, all new clips for it. So that'll be good stuff. Uh, we are using some Chromax um, 2K urethane sealer. We're using, uh, of course, Imperium base coat, and then we're going with a 7211 uh, clear coat. I can't remember the name, I'll show you guys. Uh, experimental clear coat, not really. I did a 944 in it. It was pretty good, pretty good. I like the clear, uh, not bad. It was, um, Relatively inexpensive, relatively available, and has a good solid content, like a TDS on the sheet and stuff. So, should be good, should be good. I'm excited. Let's get going, guys. sealed god it stinks in here we are sealed up um we have cured uh more than 20 minutes i kind of let it sit like i said i went and go eight real quick but anyway so we um got food in our belly we are set we're ready to go ready to go ahead and see if i have any uh spots i need to nib out or anything concerned with i already looked over it before i left i don't think there's anything so we should be good super happy about that let's go ahead and play our spray some base on this dude i'm so excited let me show you this base real quick it's top secret but it's freaking sick it's, it's so cool it's so cool i've always wanted to paint something this color i'm finally doing it and i'm so excited about it it's freaking awesome Right, guys we are back after a nice shower and everything I came back here to put some heat on open the doors and everything make sure this thing fully cures overnight it's getting down to like 40 tonight 48 or something like that so it's not too cold but it's still pretty cold this thing looks freaking fantastic it looks super good super cool i'm so happy with it there's not that many imperfections there we'll have to like nib out or anything super happy super good we can just go ahead and nib those out later on next week four cars and coffee get this thing coated it's gonna be so freaking good dude i can't wait we'll have to paint our black trim in the morning also forgot to uh sand the front lip and clear it i don't know what's on it i'm assuming that has a clear coat but it's probably just gel coat not really sure we're gonna go ahead and clear coat it anyway to make sure it's good and then 
I doubt four cars and coffee, but hopefully we're gonna get this baby to Nick Parks, Parks Detailing. He's gonna do full PPF on the front fenders, hood, bumper, and the little lip, and then also gonna do some PPF on um, some of the back bumper and the quarter back here, all that good stuff. I think he looked kind of weird there, whatever. But <laughs> yeah, so Nick Parks gonna knock that out. I'll get it to him soon. We also gonna get window tint on this thing because it's a fish ball right now and I'm not having it, but. Nonetheless, hope you guys really liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, leave me a like. If you didn't, leave me a dislike. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Can't wait to show you guys all the fun activities we're going to do. Freaking cool, freaking awesome.